everyone, Lisa here. It is another Monday morning and today I had a requested video from Cassie on YouTube. She wanted to know a little bit about what she needs to do, I guess, to get going in leadership and also uh, what to do after she signs somebody up. So I thought, oh, perfect way for me to maybe answer other people's same question. So um, I wrote a couple key points here of, of things I wanted to share with you. So we're going to start with um, you know, first, of course, I'm sure you're, you're, if you're a new rep, you're maybe a little bit overwhelmed with all the information. Um, if your upline sponsor shared with you, you know, all the avenues that you can make money with Avon. If you've dived into the Avon University, if you're reading from groups, I mean, it's very easy for a new rep to go, oh my gosh, I'm so overwhelmed. I want you to know this first. You do not have to uh, with it being your business, you can take it step by step. I do think it is important that from day one you are taking the full business uh, of what it's giving to you and make sure that you expose all of it um, and that you are sharing. And even if maybe at first leadership is not something you want to do, by making sure that it's on your brochures, in your flyers, and this, that, the other, um, somebody may come to you and say, I'm interested, and then your journey will begin. It's kind of how it happened for me. Um, I was very interested in the selling part, didn't know much about the leadership part. Um, at the time, it was just not talked about as much as it is now. And, um, you know, I was briefly shared some information back then, and then I had two people from the stickers on my books wanting to get started. So I went, now what do I do? Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't, I'm so new myself. I don't know how to train them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. So I thought, perfect way for me to come to you in a video. So step one, the most important thing you need to do, uno, numero uno number one, is, is the desire there um, to advance your business and to reap residual income and work on that avenue with other people. Um, that's something you need to determine first. And again, if, if it's not, don't forget that you can get a referral bonus for your recruits or you can also pass them on to your, your upline sponsor. But that's step one is you need to decide whether you have that desire uh, to move your business forward and earn residual income. Step two is are you ready to be able and prepared and be, to be available to the team members that you work with um, and also to make sure that you are putting their goals first before your own and their needs first before your own. By doing that, you're going to become a great leader because it's not all about you. It's about them. You are partnering with them. You are helping them in their independent business. And when you do that, it comes full circle. It will come back to you. So always focus on them and then you will get what you need as well. Step three, are you prepared to learn and grow and do self um, you know, motivational as well as, um, you know, self-improvement in the business. So listening, reading, watching videos, joining conference calls, joining your upline leaders calls if she has calls. Are you ready to fill yourself with the knowledge that you need, even if you're new, to grow this side of the business? If you are not willing to expand on your own personal development and lead by example. How do you expect the people that you are working with to want to do the same so they can be the best leader possible for their downline? Okay. So that is something that you need to do. We are always constantly learning from others. We're learning from our company. We're learning from books. And I'll tell you, if you don't have, you know, a good book uh, in your office, I've got a library of, one, of them back there of different ones that I've read over and over again, as well as you can just go on YouTube. If you don't have the money right away to start purchasing books and audio books, you can go right on YouTube and just type in some of the greatest speakers uh, for MLM. You could also look at many of our peers that are amazing with Avon and can help you. So um, we've got Molly Bibb, we've got Teresa Paul, we've got Lisa Scola, I myself have you, Lisa Wilbur, Emily Segrin. That's just a few names of many representatives out there willing to help you. Step four is are you ready to take, uh, let's see, I put myself some notes here. Take the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything and above when it comes to leadership. Um, you've got to be ready uh, to not take it personal when you sign people up and you're helping them get started in their business and some of them never do anything. 
Um, some of them might place a few orders and then leave. And you cannot take that personal. You have to be ready for the good, the bad, and the ugly with that. And I've got a video about that also somewhere here on my channel uh, in regards to just Avon in general. Um, you've got to have thick skin. Not everybody is going to stick and you've got to be prepared to understand that that's just part of the business, okay? Um, again, not personal, let them go, work with those that want it and let those go that don't. Step five, if you said yes to all of those things that I just mentioned, then you are definitely ready for leadership. So um, you want to go ahead and jump on board. So here are the first things that you need to do uh, once you've determined that this is something you definitely wanna treat like a business. Some people just jump in to sell a little Avon, get a discount on Avon, uh, share with family and friends. They wanna just make a little pocket money and leadership's never on their mind and they're just gonna be completely content with that. Or you may be one of those people like me that didn't know at first and then jumped in, or maybe you haven't been informed and you're gonna jump in. And now that I've given you some information, maybe you're gonna jump in. So let's talk a little bit about the seeds that you need to plant as you're getting started. So number one, um, all your materials, as you're getting started to start getting those leads, all your materials, your business cards, your books, your um, flyers, anything that you're handing out, passing out, front, back, there needs to be a line on there after your information that says, join my Avon team for only $15, ask me how, or go to with your link. Or, um, you know, sell Avon for $15, join here with your link and code. Um, so you wanna make sure everything has that. You can put book flyers, you can put um, all kinds of things on your materials, but that is what I call the visual seed that you are planting. Visual seeds need to be everywhere, okay? Um, the second thing is your verbal seed, okay? Your verbal seed is every time you meet somebody from day one in your business and you're handing them a brochure, it's a very simple line. I have I have shared this over and over again, learned, oh, by the way, from the wonderful Sue Mazza, and let me tell you, I've, I've implemented it and I've used it and it's amazing way to streamline into anything that you are trying to find out from somebody. So. You're gonna give somebody a book and you're gonna say, oh, by the way, if you know anybody that could use some extra money, we're looking for representatives in all areas, please let me know, I'll be happy I can get you started um, or help them get started. So you're not necessarily asking them, hey, would you like to sell Avon? Do you wanna sell Avon? Or how about selling Avon? You're not asking a question. You're just saying, by the way, if you know somebody that could use some extra money, please let me know. A lot of times they'll say it's me, I'm interested in making some extra money and then you can go from there. If not, here's the thing, you got the visual seed on the materials, you just planted the verbal seed. <clears throat> Excuse me, if somebody else comes to them and says, gives them a book, and let's say you gave the book and you didn't have anything on there for the visual seed, you never said anything for the verbal seed, and now this other rep comes and says, could be a district manager, could be anybody, and says, oh, you should sell Avon, you've been buying Avon? Yeah, and then they think they have to sign up with the district person or they need to go to avon.com on the back of the book to get started. If you're not mentioning it, if it's not in your books, guess what? They're gonna go online to avon.com and they'll find somebody that has shared with them or asked them. You hear me? That's what's gonna happen. So that's what you need to do, okay? So again, visual, verbal, and also the third seed is your digital, okay? So digitally, uh, whether that be text, Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, did I say Facebook? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, all the social media, anything that Pinterest, these are all places that you want to be letting people know that you sell Avon and that they can join your team. Now, do you want to flood everything, everywhere, every day with join my team, here's the information, but no, don't do it. Because what's going to happen is people are going to start unfollowing you and start blocking you and be like, I'm done with, you know, Lisa's posts are all over all the time about joining her team and selling the Avon and blah, blah. And people want real people. They want to see regular things on your timeline. They don't want to hear always about Avon, Avon, Avon. Now, if you have a Pinterest boards, that's different because you're making boards for different things. Um, Twitter, though, or Facebook, they do not want to constantly hear about buy this product for me because that's what they see. Even if you're just, you know posting like, oh, check out this whatever. It's okay to do it occasionally or if you have a specific business page 
then you can do promotions. But even on that, for mine, I'll post motivating quotes. I'll post uh, representative tips as well. I will post real pictures of me wearing the products, using the products, um, and then even share success stories, um, maybe from other reps, or if I'm out with my team doing a, a team luncheon, I'll take pictures and post it there because it shows any potential people coming in that, oh, Lisa's out with her team, she's doing this, I think I wanna join her. So on the digital side, you wanna be marketing there as well, okay? And also, you're probably wondering, well, I'm new and I have no idea what my code is. I don't know how to find it. I don't know what it, how do I send people to sign up with me online? And I don't even know how, if I'm gonna do an in-person appointment, how to do one. So here's the thing, in this age that we're in, most people that want to sell Avon on your team are going to just go to your link and sign up. The kit's gonna to come to them in the mail and then you can work with them from there. Your link is gonna be found in the web office. You're gonna look at your actual store. So if it's youravon.com backslash Monison, which is mine, they can go to startavon.com and then it'll say reference code Monison. That's way number one. Way number two, have them go to your youravon.com backslash Monison or whatever your store is. And there is a lady with a blue hat, widget, at least she's blue hat right now in this day and this, time that's what it is or the button that says join now they can click there and go through that and that should connect straight to you um the third way is a little more uh is it anything anybody can do this if you're a little more advanced and techie you can go to tinyurl.com you can create a redirect through tinyurl it's free um remember that you're not supposed to use um you know I guess in that you probably could, but you can't put like, I don't know, um, different Avon, whatever in there. So at any rate, um, you can use tiny URL and make a backslash join Avon or whatever's it, find something available backslash with that. And then, um, that's a third way. And the fourth way, which I had done and I bought sign up for 15, um, again, Avon's not in the U, that's a full URL. So you cannot have Avon in a full URL. Um, so I have sign up for 15. And what that does is it points straight to my sign up page. So therefore, there's nobody having to put in any codes. Um, you know, you don't have to do that. There is a fourth way. Okay, so that's that was the most advanced way. The fourth way is to go to your own sign up page. You're going to take the top giant link and in that link you'll see like my L Monison is in there or whatever your thing is you can take that giant link that is actually what you plug into tiny URL or if you want to send that giant link you can send the giant link and then erase it it should pop up like on Facebook and people can click on it and it goes right to you so it's a couple ways to get them to sign up now here's the thing they've either signed up online or if you've ordered an English or Spanish appointment kit it's going to come to your house. Now, I recommend even if you're doing all online appointments, you need to order one of the kits so that you can look at the booklet that your representative is, re is receiving and look at the materials. Um, of course, you can also look at those materials at youravon.com and do the printable booklet and have it. Um, but I think it's worth it to just have a kit also always on hand, especially if you're doing events. You should have many kits available um, if you're face-to-face, -face, immediate on-the-spot appointments. But a lot of times at least for me, I haven't done a face-to-face -face appointment in a long, like years probably, because everybody's just like, oh, I can do it right now online? Yep, you can do it right online. So I can nationally recruit all over. So um, once you have somebody signed up, you've got that interested party, they're ready to sign up, you've sent the proper, maybe if you're communicating over Facebook or they've got some interest, maybe you're sending um, you know, some through the Alma, if you're on Alma, which for those that are new, Alma is a lead sharing system, you do have to qualify for it. Um, so talk to your upline about that. That's another video. But um, once the lead comes to you and, uh, you know, if you're doing your own annotations, you can make your own, like, thank you for your Avon interest. The Alma app gives us one of those emails. But you can do thank you for your Avon interest. I look forward to working with you. Here's the top 10 reasons you should sell Avon. Um, here's what you get as a new rep. And just give them maybe some basic tidbits so that they are really interested. I tell them about the 40% program. That's a great thing. Um, that's what's going on right now in 2016. It is July. Um, that could change. Um, so I will share that. And then once they're uh, appointed, if they've already just appointed, then I have an email series that I send right away because everybody's not local for me anymore. 
Um, I do get some local, but most of them are national. So um, I have five emails that I send. The first one is welcome to Avon. So create a welcome to Avon. The second one is Avon tips. So that's all kinds of like, you know, about your e-store, about your earnings and, you know, different things that I send. Um, the third one is their Avon schedule. The fourth one is, let's see, Avon schedule, what's that fourth one? Payment upfront information about their payment and their order date. And the fifth one is leadership information. So I send those, I annotate what I've sent. Now, if you have an upline sponsor, ask her for her emails if she's got them or her materials that she sends out to new representatives. I'm sure she would share them with you. Um, there's lots of groups out there, like I said, that have these shared emails, but I think it's also good to sometimes create your own. Even if you are new and they're just basic, what you've learned, that's always good because your team member is learning from you. So, but again, you don't need to recreate the wheel. If you have an upline sponsor that has this information, then, um, you know, by all means use it. Now on teammoneymakers.com, I have old emails that are out there in the article section um, from a long, long time ago. Uh, you would have to update them with the new programs, but it at least gives you kind of a format of some of the, of the emails that I've sent. So um, they sign up right away. I send the emails. I send a welcome text and then I call them within 48 hours. If I haven't reached them, sometimes the text comes right back and we're already communicating. If they haven't responded, because I want to give them a little bit, some people say they call right away. I want to let them absorb what I've sent, you know, kind of a little bit. So by the next day or within no later than 48 hours, if it's the weekend, I'm always calling them on a Monday. I don't want to bother them on the weekend. I value my time on the weekend and, you know, next business day for me is Monday. So um, unless it's urgent and they're talking with me already, then yes, so I'll call them on the weekend. But at any rate, uh, if not, then it's a Monday call. So, um... We call, I call them, uh, if they're not available, I leave a message. I make sure that we set up a time to speak so that maybe if we're missing each other, it's a time zone thing. We have our little talk. We talk about what brings her to Avon, why is she, you know, uh, what is her needs uh, or her, his needs. And then, um, you know, we just get to talking a little bit about that and find out about each other. And then uh, I like to usually set up another appointment with them once their materials arrive so we can review them. So I say, hey, let me know when your materials come in. We can talk. I would love to, um, you know, go over your kit with you if you have questions. In the meantime, make sure you're going to Avon University and reviewing that information. And of course, if you have any questions and need anything, you need to let me know because I have new people starting all the time and everybody's just as important. But if I don't hear from you, I think your training and everything's going well. Um, I might check within, in with them uh, if it's been five, six days and I haven't heard, hey, is your kit come in? Text, call, something like that. How's everything coming along with the training? We'll set up a first order appointment if they want one. Some people are very independent. They want to do it themselves. Um, some want me to kind of give them a walkthrough and I'm more than willing to do that for them. And we go over that. And then um, we, if they've already placed their first order, I celebrate their successes. Actually, before the order, if they are telling me they don't have orders or they couldn't get any orders, we start to find out, well, what have you been doing in the last week and a half or last week? What, what kind of activities are you doing? We might work a little bit on verbiage or uh, their customer list again if they didn't do it in their booklet. And we want to make sure that we are kind of finding out you know, um, to kind of guide them and help them and find out what were they doing over the last week and a half? Did they even give books out? Did they, um, you know, make some phone call follow-ups or did they just sit there and put the books out and go, waiting for calls, waiting for orders to come in. No orders are here, so I'm quitting. That's it, I'm done. I mean, is that is that that's probably the case for some people. So they're just like waiting and they're hoping and and then nothing happens and then they're like, oh well, I guess Avon didn't work for me and I quit. Um, it's more effort than that. You need to get out there and you need to share. If you're shy, there's nothing. I mean, we've got texting now. I mean, that's how most people are communicating with me. There's people I, on my team that I have tried to call by phone. I have left messages after message, but yet they will text me. So whatever works, because it's their business. So, um, and I do offer, you know, and you can too with technology. We've got Skyping, we've got Zoom meetings, all that's free to use. So we definitely use it. So um, we follow up and we go from there. I mean, uh, this type of series, you know, I could keep going on the different topics, but that is your basics of determining your, you know, whether leadership's for you, um, knowing those programs, um, you know, kind of learning as you go. Talk to your upline sponsor if you need some assistance. Of course, she's going to walk you through the processes. 
uh, if you're having problems finding that code. But don't forget the seeds as well as the visual, the verbal, and the digital. That's important. Um, and, uh, you know, go from there. Once you get your first recruit, it's no looking back from there. You want to keep going, keep putting people on and keep working with those that want it. Uh, not to say that everybody else is just ignored because I make sure everybody on my team is included, but the loudest people are getting the oil basically, um, because they're the ones that are saying, Hey, I need more help. I need more help. Um, you know, I will set up appointments with anybody that, that wants help, um, and support anytime, but, um, you know, you just have to learn to work your business the way it works best for you. And, uh, over the first 12 campaigns, that's the first six months in business, but especially the first four, that's the first two months. Um, you want to help make sure they're hitting their goals and their thresholds for the 40% program and that they understand how it works and congratulate them when they succeed and they get their, you know, sample bundles and they get their hundred dollar bundle and, you know, just send out those little recognition things. Cause that's key to, and being a great leader and making your team feel valued. So Chrissy, YouTube, I hope this helps and know this is a little bit of a longer video, um, but I hope it helps you guys when it comes to making those decisions about leadership and kind of getting off the ground with it. So have a great day, everybody. Happy selling, happy recruiting, happy sponsoring, and have an awesome Avon week. Love you. Bye.